So, you know, I do have a new video coming soon of a bunch of hacking devices made tomorrow. They're not exactly what you think. There's some actually new ones I haven't seen out there so much. But today, we're looking at hacking made small. I mean like this small. And in your pocket. And for 10 bucks? Okay guys, this is too crazy. We have to go over this. If you can watch the HackRF video or the Flipper Zero video, go take a look at those. I'm planning on making more hacking videos. So, if you like it, watch. If you don't, still watch. I like views. So, this is the M5 Atom S3. You could get this on like the shop app because I cannot get M5 stack to work. I don't know why. I'll put a link in the description for one of these. Here's what it looks like. It has this caution tape. You do not want to rip that. It charges USB-C. You can add modules, but it has GPIO ports too, which is like a lot for the tiny thing. And then this is a tail bat by M5. So this thing does not have a bat battery, sadly. So you do need this little thing. It's pretty good. It charges USB-C also. So you really just plug this in the top like that, and you're good to go. It fits perfect in your hand like No, OK. Um. So there's basically one hacking firmware for this. And what you're going to want to do is go to M5 Burner. And this is it. I'm not showing how to download this, because it's like the easiest, peasiest thing you've ever done. Just search up M5 Burner, hit download. Now, what we're going to want to look for here is, oh, well, we want to make sure we're on Atom S3. And when we're here, these are all the different stuff you could download. Snake game, I don't know. It has, it doesn't even have more than two, it doesn't have two buttons, so I would not recommend, like, snake game or all this dumb stuff. But what we're going to be looking for is Evil Atom. If we find Evil Atom, we're going to want to hit download and let that go. It takes, like, one millisecond. Continue, and you're going to hit erase for whatever you have on, and plug this in, and then just hit start. I do like showing my face in the corner, but you need all attention on this for what we're doing next, so I need to zoom in. Yeah, so mine is actually dead, so I'm just going to plug it in. <laughs> now, how this works is you double tap to turn it on, and oh my gosh, there it is. This is definitely for younger people, not the elder. Now, you move around by tapping. Now these are all the different things, karma. So we're just gonna wanna start off by <laughs> hitting scan. So to hit, you do not hit that button. That is the restart button. But you wanna just hold down scan, let go, and it'll say scan in progress. And it's actually super duper easy. So once you've scanned, it'll say scan complete. You could go to select network. And from here, this is if you wanna hack Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna have to blur mine out. But let's just hack. Uh, my network so you want to hold it down again and now we'll say selected so from here we could go to clone and details which will show us the details like the name you want to know what channel you're on because sometimes when you're attacking people and like kick banning them you need to know what they're on so these are the details and it'll say cloned so let's take a look at my settings hey guys and there is the network actually cloned you'll see it's down here as other networks did that it's pretty interesting so we could go to start captive portal which I'll go through the basics of this stuff start captive portal it will actually attack my Wi-Fi network so if we go in here we can see I've been logged out and it will not let me back in because it's being attacked from here though you could hit stop cap stop captive portal which is what I'm gonna have to do because I want my phone to work now down here we could change the portal we're attacking check their creds, monitor status, probe attack. So these are different types of Wi-Fi attacks. If you're sending a probe attack, it'll send a bunch of like frequencies on the same network. So it's like getting spammed out. So you're able to do those types of attacks. <laughs> it's so tiny. Be able to do those types of attacks. Karma sniffing, karma auto, karma spear, karma attack. Now these are just really fun to play around with. You do have these on like the M5 core, which we are gonna be going over hopefully. But look at this, literally my phone is saying unable to join. <laughs> it's not cool. Guess the attack is still going. But it'll go off in a minute. Now these are all the different stuff we have. So we could, you know what? We, let's do a probe attack. So if we hold this down, custom probe. I do not have a custom probe. And look at that, it's just sending probes. And for some reason, I don't know why I keep connecting. It's connecting to its like own network or something because this is my network down here and it just won't let me connect to it. So that is the basics. Now, I know this thing is really tiny, 
But in person, it's actually a lot easier to read than the <laughs> camera makes it out to be. Now, you can do a lot of stuff on here, but that's all the cool stuff. So, war driving. I do not think this little thing is able to war drive. Yeah, no GPS. So, some of these features will not be available. But, I don't know though, guys. Is it worth 10 bucks? I'd say so. It's worth 10 bucks. You don't... This little thing down here was also 10 bucks, but use your own battery pack. You could just plug it in like this. It doesn't need a certain amount of volts. But, uh, 10 bucks, it's a snatch. I don't know if I'd recommend one, but it is definitely an interesting toy to have in your collection.